this is Christina here and today I'm going to be reviewing uh, Freaky Field Trip Claudine Wolf and if you remember I reviewed a few weeks ago I reviewed um, Torlai and Gigi from this line and I said that I had like initially passed on Claudine but I was thinking about maybe going back for her well here we are <laughs> I went back for her uh, if you I've actually had her in my possession for quite a while by the time I'm filming this video and getting it up um, but I've went on a toy, um, there was a sale at, uh, Toys R Us where they had Monster High Dolls were, um, 50% off, um, uh, Monster High Dolls $29.99 and under were 50% off, so I actually got, uh, Claudine here for $9.99 because they're, um, uh, $19.99 regular price, so that was a really good deal and you can't really pass that up, so I was excited to pick her up, um, and I'm pretty excited to get her out of the box. I really, really love Gigi and Torlai. So um they'll be they'll be glad to have the third doll on the line to, with them there. And I think Claudine is going to the I think it's the Museum of Unnatural History. Um, which is I guess it's just like um like a regular sort of like history museum. Based on like what um what she comes with and what I kind of see in the box here, it reminds me of something like um, the Royal Ontario Museum in Toronto, which is one of my favorite places um, to go. They have dinosaurs and all sorts of cool stuff. Um, something in my eye. Okay, uh, so without further ado, I'm going to get Claudine out of the box and I will be right back for us to have okay. a closer look at her. So I've got Claudine out of the box here and I just want to show you the back of her box first, the inside. So you can kind of see that it, um, it's just the, you know, the museum that she's at. So it has these cool skeletons of whatever kind of monster creatures they are, they, they are with the little descriptions. So I like, I like seeing those. Um, I think it's cool. And also, um, Claudine is a budget doll, so there's no stand, no brush, nothing like that, which is fine. I have stands, I have brushes, <laughs> good to go. And accessory-wise, her accessories aren't quite as exciting as Gigi and Torlai's. Like, I love both, everything that both of them came with. Um, Gigi with the telescope and the sack lunch, which I love. And then Torlai with the fish skeleton and the um, big souvenir cup. I love both of those things. Now, Claudine comes with um, this, which is like this amazing, this is really cool. It's like a model skeleton of some kind of... Um, I don't know, it looks sort of maybe alligator-y or something, I can't really tell, but big scary teeth and it's really cool. And her hand can kind of go inside it so she can actually like hold it, so that's cool. But her other accessory is this green um, folder, one of these, you know, fold open folders. And it just says Monster High on it, it has the, skull, the school logo on one side, and it doesn't really have anything specific to Claudine except the fact that it's green. Um, and these are sort of like a dime a dozen with Monster High dolls. They come with all of the Scaremaster dolls, and they came with the schools out, like the Wave 2 basics and all that stuff. And so I feel like this is kind of like, it's like they ran out of ideas with this line. It's like five out of six accessories are really, really cool, and then there's this. So I don't really know what happened there, but it's okay. Because the doll herself, I think, is really, um, is really, really cool. Again, simple, but that's okay. Um, so here she is and she has um, just Claudine sort of like the regular sort of like auburny brown shade of her hair um, and then there's a, a large purple streak in the front here and it's just center parted, a little bit wavy. It's kind of messy but I think a brush through will um, be, do just fine for that. However, there is one piece here that's all like knotted up in on itself um, which luckily it's kind of like an underneath piece right behind her ear because it's probably just going to have to be cut out. There's not really any way to, um, untangle something quite that tangled, but that's okay. I can cut it out and you won't be able to see that it's missing because it is an underneath piece. And then just like, um, Gigi and Torlai, she's wearing a really simple dress in terms of the shape. So it's just, um, strapless with a slightly asymmetrical hem it comes down longer on one side than on the other. And then it has this, is it plastic? Yeah, it's like a vinyl, um, like a bright green vinyl that comes across the front and then around on to the back. And then pat on the pattern it has like 
fossils and fish and stuff like that. So there's like these swirly things or like ammonites and then these kind of look like maybe like a trilobite and then there's bones. Um, it's kind of very, it reminds me of something like a very like modern, like something that a character on the Flintstones might wear. I think it's, it's cute. And then on her right arm, she has this amazing bracelet, um, arm cuff, not even a bracelet. I think it's too, too big to be a bracelet. Um, but it's kind of like a vertebra and it wraps, um, around the back side of her arm. Uh, but doesn't close all the way. And I just think it's so cool. And again, it makes me sad that Torlai didn't come with that fishbone, that gold fishbone bracelet that they have in her art because everybody else has like a cool accessory and uh, like a cool piece of jewelry and hers kind of disappeared somewhere along the way. Uh, but anyways, down on Claudine's feet, she's wearing purple ankle booties. Um, and it's I think it's cool that this budget line, everybody got new shoes. That's pretty neat. Um, and then up the front it has kind of like spikes that make me think of like a stegosaurus. And then the front here has, um, there's teeth. And then the heel, um, the heels are again like vertebra, like a spine. And so again, like the shoes are kind of simple. They're not painted or anything like that. But they're really, really cool. And they really go with kind of the, the theme of the doll really well. And I think that that's... Um, that's what I love about Monster High is that even when something's simple, it can still be really like th themed and really um, feel like it fits. So um, yeah, that's it for Claudine. I really love her, um, even though, as I said, like she's really simple, but that's okay. Um, I love when Monster High just has a, a plan and they kind of stick to it. This line was really a surprise for me. I wasn't expecting to enjoy this um, field trip line quite as much as I did, but here we are, I bought all three, and I don't regret having any of them, and I think they're going to look really cute, um, oops, really cute all together on my shelf. Um, yeah, so that is Claudine Wolf, who's going to the, the Museum of Unnatural History, um, in her very cute outfit with her super cool shoes, and as always, um, I will do a photo review of Claudine over on my blog. That's uh, christinearticulates.blogspot.ca, and you'll be able to find um, a link to that down below in the description bar. And actually, also, um, YouTube is letting us add these things um, called cards, so there should be um, like a link somewhere up over here <laughs> that even if you're watching this on a mobile device, you'll be able to click on that link and go right to that blog post. I'll put that uh, link in there. The little I, like uh, the letter I in the corner, you can click on that. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. I'm Christine Articulates everywhere. And if you like this video, please um, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you do, we'll see you back here next time. Bye, guys.